And as you've heard, welcome to LEGO Brick Tales, a brand new LEGO game. I've played a ton of LEGO games for you guys, but none quite like this one. In this game, we explore a ton of different environments and along the way, we help out different characters and build a bunch of stuff. It seems to be a really fun and unique experience, and I'm excited to check it out. So with that being said, let's get started with LEGO Brick Tales. Ooh, we got a little mailbox and some mail, of course. What could it be? You got a letter, a rare treasure. What does it say? Are we like a chef or something? I don't know what's on our jacket. Letter from grandpa. My grandchild, I hope this letter finds you well. I've made a groundbreaking discovery that I'd like to show to you. Also, a helping hand or two can't hurt. The potential of this is incredible. When you arrive at the theme park, Take the elevator down to my laboratory. I will wait for you there. Who are going to a theme park? Sounds like fun. Oh, here we are. So we can just click around the move, so I'll do that for right now. But wow, look at this place. Very neat looking. I do like it. Uh, but he yeah, has a portal. Do I just, I guess I head inside and I enter. There we go, I'm playing on the computer for right now. But, uh, oh, there's our grandpa, hi Gramps. Seems like they're hard at work. Who's there? Is that you, my child? Oh, wonderful. I didn't expect you so soon. I want to show you this incredible, earth-shaking. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Is that a washing machine? Oh no, we got a work safety violation, something. Oh my goodness, it's about to explode. Are you okay, Gramps? Well, that was entirely too literal. Are you all right? Um, You see, I was in the middle of wiring up my invention and what you just witnessed is what we in the business call a rapid unplanned disassembly. <clears throat> in layman's terms, too much power make big boom. So not only am I now trapped up here, but it l took the whole power grid down with it. We'll need to restart the main generator eventually, but first, could you start the emergency generator? Uh, sure, guess it's right down there. Do you see it over there? Be so kind and turn it on for your grandfather. Will do. So we gotta help our grandfather by heading down this way. And there's some kind of generator over here. Yeah, I'm guessing this thing? It's glowing. We can interact with it. And ta-da! I should have replaced this old thing years ago. Those wires are always coming unplugged. Go on, throw the lever. So I just gotta interact with this, I guess. Interact with it, there you go. Ta-da! Looking good. Whoa! So what's with the super powerful washing machine? What was that? Whoa! Oof! Oh wow, I'm back. The electromagnetic interferences must have pulled me back into this dimension. Oh, hello. I'm, <laughs> how can I help you? What? No, I'm not a genie and you don't get three wishes. Your grandfather made me years and years ago. He always called me Rusty, but while I was out there in space, I made a new friends and was given the alien name. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just making funny noises. You look you lack the required frequency synthesization modules to properly pronounce it. The closest approximation would be Blordal Fleeb. That's a good one too. But you can call me Rusty. I think I'll stick with Rusty. Rusty? I thought I lost you somewhere years ago. Oh yes, I did get lost a bit after you shot me into space, remember? But I saw some wonderful things and now I'm back. How curious. But excellent work, my child. The lights are back on. Based on your problem-solving skills, we could be related, ha <laughs> ha. Oh, ha <laughs> ha, right you are. We are related, smart as a whip. Oh, Grandpa's trapped. Yes, let's help him, let's go. All right then, so yeah, we're teaming up with Rusty here to save Grandpa. How am I getting up there? When we turn the generator back on, and there's some more steps up this way, looks like we need to get up that to that platform. Let's hover up. Oh wait, you can't. Hmm, that's a conundrum. Ah, hold on. This is a perfect chance to show you what I can do. Let me teach you the power of building, and we'll start by constructing some stairs for you. Ooh, so we can learn and we can build. Well, let's learn about building. Learn how to manipulate bricks. Let's learn how to build. So we have a brick here and we just put it on top, drag the brick to the highlighted area, and we can just keep doing that. Great, let's get out of here. <laughs> sure, finish. So obviously there's some building to be done. Uh, repair the stairs. 
Okay, so now we're going to do that same thing, but with repairing the stairs. So we have these sort of uh, pleats, so we can put them there and there. And that should fix it up. Wow, Rusty, you know how to construct things. How? I don't remember you being capable of that when I made you. I guess Rusty's not gonna answer, that's fine. We got another little thing to figure out over here. I guess 2.21 gigawatts uh, was too one too many. Like, the looks like the generator blew some fuses. Replace them. You can assemble replacement fuses if there weren't aren't enough. All right, so let's do that then. So first off, learn how to rotate bricks. So we have a brick here, but say we need it on this side, we need to click it again. Click it, a selected brick to rotate it, move it to the highlighted area. There we go. Hold shift and click a selected brick to rotate it the other way. Place it to the left. So click it to rotate it clockwise and shift click to rotate it counterclockwise. Gotcha. Seems pretty good to me. So let's do that again, but to figure out assembling the fuse. So we need to sort of make that schematic, it seems. So this is interesting. I'll just have to sort of figure out how that was built and sort of follow that lead. So with this one, I need to rotate it like that. I need to rotate this one like that. And then one more time, we're good to go. So I'll have to sort of look and compare and contrast. All right, well, that seems like it worked. What about this one? Learn how to control the camera. Uh, find the brick. Drag with the middle click or shift plus click to move the camera. Okay. So we can do a lot of super neat building in this game. It's really fun. So uh, find the other brick. Ooh, so I can rotate the camera like this with clicking and dragging. Um, or I can use WASD. So I'm not going to explain every bit of the controls in detail, but you guys get the idea. And if you've used any kind of like 3D art program, maybe it will come across a very similar to you. Uh, learn how to use the brick palette. Okay, so uh, what do we got here? It looks like we can right click to remove bricks, remove all bricks inside the dashed line. So let's get rid of all those. And look at this, here's our palette. See that? When we have many bricks, we place them in a palette. With everything nice and tidy, we can concentrate on building. Try building a little tower. So now that we have all of our stuff in our palette over here, you can see exactly how many we have and I can start putting it together. And it looks like we'll need every single one of the bricks in the palette to put this tower together. There we go. There's really is like a, you know, like a 3D art program in a way. That's really cool. Uh, replace the blown fuses. Okay, whoa. So we got the fuses before and it looks like they need to slot into where the other ones were. So let's, uh, oh no, what did I do? Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure. How do I put it lower? I'm not quite sure. Let's, let's try with this one. Oh, maybe yeah, if I plop it down, then I turn it around like this. There we go, much better. And what about this one? Just like that. And then yeah, rotate that one over there and get it right there. So it'll just sort of fall downwards. Gotcha. I wonder if we can make our own custom builds. That'd be cool. Great, now repair the pipes to get the hydraulics going again. How are we going to do that? Looks like we need to walk over to this tutorial. Uh, learn about the validity, uh, brick validity and simulation. When building more complex things, there are some rules to follow. Bricks that are replaced and can't be modified, like these two by four plates, serve as anchors. Rule number one, bricks have to be connected to an anchor, otherwise they are not valid. See the two by two and two by four bricks? They're not connected to the plates on the bottom, hence they are invalid. All right then, so I guess we need to fix that. So if we move that here, uh, then I can rotate this one. See, now that's where it needs to be. See, now both bricks are valid. Rule number two, bricks have to be placed within the dashed lines. See that two by two brick over there? It's peeking out of the allowed area. So for this one, we wanna put it up top like this. Great, now here's the next cool thing. Uh, click to simulate the test to see how sturdy a construction is. Whoa, so we can simulate this. Whoa, and you can see this is nice and sturdy. Well, that wasn't it, but we sure, can do something about it. Oh, okay, so obviously this left side is sturdy, but if we wanted to have something, maybe we can go back now. There we go. Place to bricks to support the white plank. Gotcha, so remember, bricks can't just float in the air. They'll be invalid and vanish. So let's try to move this thing out of the way. Uh, turn this one, if it lets me, there you go. And same deal with this one as we did with the other one. We just need to stack it up and try to simulate it. And there we go, much better. So making sound structures will be quite important. We gotta wait a little bit to make sure it's good. 
That is so neat. All right, so build a walkway to cross the gap. So we're gonna build again. You can see that's where we just were. So we need to, I guess, just get started. I could do something like this, but as you can see, this is where it gets tricky. Hmm. Maybe I should do some of the smaller ones first. Yeah, if we did some of the smaller ones, maybe it would make a bit of an arc and maybe an arc would be stronger. So that would be like the smaller bits at the end and then maybe something like this. And this is where it's definitely going to take some experimentation to really understand. But if we use up every brick, I'm sure we'll make something super sturdy. So let's try to get that there and this here. And look at that, it's all matched up. So. Maybe now I could just put that there and here, and look at that, that looks like a perfect archway to me. All right, let's simulate it and see. Little robot goes across and gets over, no problem. That is so cool. So these are like really interesting physics building logic puzzles. So let's go over here and do some more. Learn how to move the bricks vertically. Okay, Um. wait a minute, I didn't mean to do that. So press the up button on the screen or E to move the brick up, place it at the top. Okay. So as you can see, you just move it upwards and bring it up here. Press the down button on the screen or Q to move the brick down, place it at the bottom. So I'll click this again and I'll just try to move it down like this. Got it. Uh, that might take some learning, of course, but we'll figure it out. Hold shift the, and press E or down to move the brick stepwise. What does that exactly mean? Oh, so we could do a little bit more incrementally to place it in the middle. Hold on, I gotta... There we go. Uh, hold shift while moving a brick to lock its vertical position, place it to the side. Okay, I understand. So obviously where it is in space is sort of difficult to maneuver at first, but we'll figure it out. So let's try to build. Reconnect the pipes. Use up and down to place the pipes, uh, pipe pieces. The shadow helps with the placement. Yeah, it definitely does. So I can put this right about there, and you can see it matches up pretty well. Uh, I can raise this one a little bit too. Same deal over here, we're gonna rotate this one and bring it right there. And that should be good to go, so everything's going right through the pipes. Great job. Now I'll turn the hydraulics machine back on. Don't mind if I do. So let's run across like this. I guess we're just right down this way and pull this lever, interact. Whoa. Look at that thing. So I guess that might help with stairs or something. Almost there. We can build something to close the gap. All right, Rusty. Looks like over this way is where I need to go. So no tutorial this time. I'm just going in. Build a walkway to reach Grandpa's platform. Ooh, you can duplicate any brick you already placed by holding shift before selecting and moving it. Oh, okay. So you can duplicate any brick you already placed. Oh, I see. Obviously, that's gonna take them out of our pallet, though, so it is good to keep in mind. Um, so I need to raise this a little bit, but I think I see what I need to do here. Um, keeping everything nice and sturdy is gonna be a bit of a challenge, but what we can do is put that there. Oh, and you know what? We could just click it. Yeah, make the duplication. That does make things a lot faster. Do that one more time, just like that. Oh, no. Right there. And then I need to grab this one. There we go. So we wanna make this nice and sturdy, so putting some right there, like that. That should be good to simulate it. So we got a little robot that goes across, and as you can see, it's nice and strong. Very cool. So we actually have to understand how building works in this you know, world to actually do this, and that's really fun. So now we can go across knowing that it's safe and talk to our gramps. Hi, Grandpa. Rusty, it's you. Where have you been? Oh no, where are your arms? The ravages of time and space have destroyed you. Don't be so dramatic, Grandpa. I've been upgraded. You sent me out to explore space, but then I got trapped in a hyperdimensional fold. I was so scared at first, but I met some really friendly aliens who repaired me and let me travel the multiverse with them helping people. They swapped out the multifunctional arms you gave me with, for a zero-point gravity particle generator. Oh, of course, the, that old three-point guard practical generator. Simple technology for an inventor such as myself. <clears throat> anyway, it's great to have the two of you here. Now come, let me show you my invention. So I like how Rusty refers to her grandpa's grandpa. It makes us sort of like siblings. All right, so back out here with grandpa. 
You see, I was experimenting and made the groundbreaking discovery of how to create portals. It's taken me years, but I think we got it to run now. Isn't it incredible? Yeah, it is. An incredible mess. Just look at the place. Oh, yeah, it is a bit beat up around here. What the park? Oh, yes. <clears throat> it might be in a state of mild discombobulation. Oh, no. Oh, no? The mayor. She's been telling me for ages if I don't get the park cleaned up, she'll close down this eyesore of a place and have the land seized. I got so distracted by the portal, I totally forgot. There's no way I can clean all this in time. The extent of dis disrepair is truly pervasive. Have you considered sp splicing local space time with a spo or spatio temporal alternate, alternate reality drive? I say what now? It's simple. When quantum strings vibrate in phase with disturbances in the microwave background radiation. <laughs> Whoa, slow down. I don't, uh, my grandchild here doesn't understand what you're saying. I'm so sorry. My apologies. Let me start over. It fixes things that are broken. Perfect, that's exactly what we need. I'd like to buy three. Do you accept credit card? That won't be necessary. I possess the knowledge and equipment required to assemble it for free from parts I have seen lying around your property. Ooh, okay. So Rusty's getting to work putting something together here. Whoa, it's a washing machine again. Excellent, now we only need sufficient energy to operate the machine. Like electricity? Yes, but something more powerful, like happiness crystals. They're the greatest source of energy I've encountered on my travels. Happy, what? Please explain. These crystals generate in local space-time wells when the mean karmic positive delta exceeds the O value, or whatever that's supposed to be, of... Rusty, we've been over this. I don't know those words. Uh, I mean, my grandchild can understand the thing that you're saying. <laughs> it's okay if you don't know everything, Grandpa. I will simplify. Step one, we help people uh, We help people to make them happy. Step two, happiness crystals appear. Step three, we fix the theme park. And step four, everybody is happy and we go out for ice cream. My readings tell there are several locations where people will need help soon. The first one at the coordinates 3904829030.30099.0093 number. <laughs> I don't know what, measure, what measurements you use. Is that far away? Considerably so. If only we had a portal. What? Yes, indeed, a portal would do the trick. See, I knew it would be useful. I will hack into your portal and set everything up. Ooh, okay, so I guess we're going off somewhere. Next destination, three, oh, okay, that one again. <laughs> some kind of coordinate. So there we go. Appears to be some kind of jungle. So you'll go off, collect some happiness crystal, and we can clean up this mess. Precisely. Well then, off you go. So it looks like we could go to our next area. All right, you two, what are you waiting for? Off to the jungle. And what is this right here? So I guess it's our first destination, the jungle. So there's a lot to do here. We have 13 chests, 10 shops, and 20 animals, as well as a story percentage. Let's try it out. Here we go. <laughs> oh, this is cool. So here we are at the vast jungle. Ah, lush greenery, fresh air, and mysterious ruins. Let's explore. Okay, so explore the jungle. You can always travel back to Grandpa's amusement park using the return to Grandpa option in the menu. Press escape. So that's pretty cool, but I wanna look around a little bit and sort of see what we can find. Um, uh, whoa. Whoa, there's a plane overhead. Oh no, I think they just crashed. Yikes, I hope they're okay. Oh no, did you see that? That small plane crash landed somewhere in the mountains right before us. I can see parachutes opening. I hope everyone's okay. We have to go help those people right away. So let's try to build our way over and investigate the plane crash. Uh, what is this sound? Build a set of stairs to reach the top. Oh, okay. So the maximum step height you can climb is three plates or one brick. Gotcha. So we have 10 of these plates, but then also some of these as well. That's interesting. Um. Sort of want to get a better look at them. So these are too high. Yeah, they're yeah they're too tall. I mean, like two spaces tall. Um, but these are just one. So I guess we'll start with one of these. I think, just like that. And then maybe as we head up, we can like put some there. I'm just thinking because we want it to be sturdy at the ends like that, right? Sort of hard to say. Um, there we go. We're just gonna click that there for now. Because it's, you know, not too bad to do something like this. 
My only concern, oh, you know what? I see them, so hold on. Let's reset this really quickly. We need to keep in mind that three plates tall. This is two and this is one. So obviously it's already one tall there. So what we could do is make it one, two, and three. And then I guess do something like this. There we go. And hopefully this is tall enough to get across. I mean, I think it would work like this, right? The problem is I'm actually getting up too high too soon. I think. But I mean, that's not too much of an issue, right? Because then we just go across. So let's try that out really fast. Fast, Because who knows, maybe I don't need all the bricks. And I could also maybe shuffle them over a little bit. That could also help. So let's try this out. And maybe not the cleanest build in the world, but I wanna see if we simulate this, it should work. Yeah, it does. All right, we did it, cool. Obviously, it seems like there's gonna be more than one answer to certain puzzles, and that's great, in my opinion. Oh, look at the parrot up here, that's so cute. Um, Oh, but I can't hop down. Oh, I see, so maybe not as simple as you might think. Let's go back into it and see how I might be able, because this is four tall. So what I could maybe do is just, here, I might need to lower it, just like this. There we go, that should work a little bit better. Got it, okay, so simulation finished, and now we can get through. And once again, that's probably not the best way to build it, but it's not always about efficiency, but just what we can manage. Uh, build a canopy to walk across the river. Okay, a canopy. So we're trying to get from one point to the other, um, and we can focus on the pallet too. This is so neat. So this is where things can get very complicated if you desire. So um, that's where, you know, getting into the camera angles and figuring all this out. This is such a cool in-depth building game. I love it. So we're going to just try to for right now, I think. I know these aren't really technically connected at the moment. I have an idea brewing though. So we're gonna make some of these. And sometimes I think that's gonna be the best idea, right? Is to make this little mainframe and then go back in and sort of mess with some other stuff. So maybe now I could do something like this. Oh no. Uh, Hold on, I'm gonna put that back there. Just try to move these across, just like that. There we go, so now we have like this base, which is looking good, but maybe not the most sturdy. Um, and there might still be better ways to do this, and that's where I'm just going to have to sort of learn to figure it out, because like these technically aren't connected at the moment, and that's where I might want to, instead of using, actually, yeah, okay. What if I did do something like this? And once again, this might not be the most sturdy way to do it, but I'm just trying to connect everything as well as I can for the time being. And like, we can simulate this and you can see, oh, will I hold? No, ah, not quite. You can see that those just aren't strong enough, but we do get an achievement for that. It works in a fric frictionless vacuum. <laughs> it definitely does. So that simulation didn't turn out super well, but that's okay, because what we could do is maybe just, I could also, hmm. Because I have this one, right? I could rotate it like this, but it doesn't quite go across the whole thing. So maybe that's not what we want. Because I could do something like this too. And I know that this isn't perfectly aligned just yet. I'm sorry for that, but I'm just sort of experimenting a little bit just to understand how all this works. So if, it, if it's not pretty at first, you know, that's not entirely our goal. I've never been much of, you know, a master builder or anything, but I'm just trying to understand how all this works. But you can see there's just not enough support under it. So that's what we need to focus on for right now. Um, so one thing I might want to do is actually start from scratch, if that's the thing I can do. I don't think that it is for right now. So let's really think about this and look at our different pieces too. So. I think we need some support under. So if we could, hmm. I mean, maybe it's not too big, big of a deal to start it with this again, but I might want to change some stuff after that. So I'm trying to build it like this. I don't think this one's gonna hold either. I've been at this for a while, but no, this one is. Okay, so I'm trying to just work with that arc. So that worked. And I guess, could I be done there? I could. It's not a very interesting bridge, so if we wanted to add more to it, we could, you know, if we wanted to, like, you know, add some kind of fancy bar across or something. I don't know if I want to do any of that, so we'll just, you know, simulate it again and get through this one. I was stuck on that for a while, very confusing, but I, I think I just overthought it for that one. I clicked the wrong button. So there we go, we can finish here, we can move on to the next one. I don't want to spend too much time on it because I feel like there's probably plenty more left to solve. That's a solid bridge, but do you want me to be more creative? Check this. Ooh, okay, so what is this? 
build a canopy walk build a canopy walk to cross the river. That's what I just did. But once you've finished the construction, you can activate the sandbox mode for it. Ooh. Click on the sandbox button to activate sandbox mode. Activate sandbox mode for current construction? Sure. In sandbox mode, brick limits are removed and you get additional bricks to use. Ooh, so we could just really go crazy with things if we wanted to, and you know, that's so neat. Obviously, I don't want to spend forever on one thing because we got so much more to get to, but hey, you really could just make some kind of fancy uh, accent here. I wonder if there's a way to change the colors or something. Oh yeah, right here, you can tab, and maybe we'll unlock more colors on the way. Our selection of extra bricks is limited right now, but I'm sure there'll be more as we continue our journey. That's awesome, so if you really wanted to customize these areas and make them your own, you could. So, I'm not going to right now, like I said, because I'm mostly focused on getting through the game, but there's a lot you can do here, and that's very, very cool. So in the meantime, let's head down this way and see what else is left for us here in the jungle. Can't quite get across to that little part, but maybe I could, Travel north, okay, sounds good to me. And here we are in the north part of the jungle. Help me, I'm trapped up here. Assistance, I need, wait, that statue over there appears to date back to the late Pelagolithic era. <laughs> this is an excitable archeologist. I need to add this to my research notes. Now, what was I saying? Oh yes, that was it. Help, I'm trapped. All right, well, we'll help you. No need to worry. We'll have you down quicker than two charging cycles of an electric sheep. Hopefully that's quick. Uh, rescue the archeologist. So let's see what we can do. There's a sort of a wrapped up statue over there. Oh, this little gecko, hi. But I guess maybe we'll head up here. Might be a salamander, actually. I don't know what kind of animal that is. Hard to tell in Lego form. Wait. It seems that the platform is too unstable to carry more weight. Well, you should build something underneath it to support it. Huh. Okay, so where do we have to go? We have to go back down this way and get to building. Okay, so let's build this one. Build a support for the platform. Whoa, so this one's a bit complicated. Um, but typically with how these are, right, is that you'll have the archway at the top. And that's where this is going to be interesting because we can rotate it on the X direction, but not the Y. Um, good to know. What if I were to yeah, move this all the way up? That's not what I wanted at all. Sometimes the camera angle is really tricky. Uh, See, so I would like to move it all the way up like that. No, 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 no. It's perfect where it was, there you go. And then we can rotate this one. Move it up here, perhaps? Uh, Not quite what I'm looking for, but almost. If I rotate it again and move it over, that's better. Then I need to do the same for this one. Yeah, I was just sort of thinking of it the wrong way. I think that's good. Like, I'm trying to th figure out the shape here, where I could maybe, hmm, moving the pieces where I want them to go is proving to be quite difficult, actually. Uh, seems like despite my camera angles, no, 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 come on, that is so silly. Up like that, leave it there. I have something in my mind where it almost makes like a P shape. I don't know if that's the best idea, but it's, it's what we're gonna try for for now. Um. So maybe I could even do that, rotate it like that. I don't know. Get over like that. Why does it do that? That is actually really silly. There you go. Um, but I wanna build everything up nice and tall on this left side then, right? But I don't have a lot of pieces to do that with. Hmm. Once again, these pieces would be better if they were the other way around. Um, but I guess I do have a lot of these, so. Let's try that out. Yep, just like that. And then do that again. Is that, <laughs> that is not where I want it to be. Yeah, right there, and then move that one to the side. Maybe we could do something like this? Oh, it's so tricky. It is so tricky to figure this out. Um, this game has proven already to be a lot more complicated than I was anticipating, which is both a good thing and a bad thing, of course. I'm a little concerned about how I'll survive this, but we'll, we'll figure it out as we go along. Um, yeah, let's try that for, oh, come on, now, if, if I can manage. There we go. But how are we attaching that all there? That's where I'm a little confused, and I'm, I'm not quite sure. Because if we just simulate this, obviously, ah, it's all gonna fall apart, so. 
the idea here is pretty simple, like, what I have in my head, but with these pieces? Doesn't seem very easy. Okay, I'm trying to maybe distribute things a little bit better. Don't build from the bottom up, you know, or the, for the top down. Maybe that would help. So I'm getting started with this a little bit. And as you can see, I can at the least add maybe just enough. There we go. So, you know, like we're, we're getting somewhere. Obviously the simulation isn't gonna help too much. Oh, but there's spots over there too. Oh no. Okay, well, good to realize that now because that's going to change up a lot of things. What I could do is maybe remove one of these and rotate it a little bit and just squeeze it in there like that. I might have to go out at it from a lower spot, but it's just so much of it and there's only one anchor point at the bottom, which is what makes it so challenging. Um, if I just had a couple of flat pieces or something that really helped, that would, I thought that'd be a night and day difference, you know, but we don't and that's what makes this very unfortunate. Um, so what I might even wanna do, like I said, is go at it from even a lower point, something like this. And what if I were to just go at it from over here? Uh, would that be good enough? I don't know, but we're gonna try to find out. Uh, I think I wanna go one higher, or maybe I don't. Maybe I just wanna do this one. This is so challenging though. I am actually so surprised by how quickly the difficulty in this game jumped. It jumped from like one to 100 so quickly. I was not expecting that, I was not ready for it. And this doesn't, Wait, add up. Hold on, can I squeeze it in there? I, I guess I can't. Um, yeah, I can't quite get that there. Is that the point though? Isn't it to, I don't know, this is so challenging and weird. Uh, Cause they haven't really explained this gray piece yet. Um, and that's what I'm trying to figure out right now is where did, where does that go? How does it match up? I have no clue, but it, it's just so hard cause the camera doesn't really work with you too much with those. Yeah, I'm not quite sure. So we're just gonna keep building with it and hope for the best. Uh, but maybe I could, oh, you know what? That's actually out of the grid. Okay. Well, I guess that's sort of good to know. Then how would we match that up? Because if we look again, huh, I don't know. I mean, I guess we just gotta keep building. Maybe I'm just overthinking that part. We're gonna leave it be and just try to build up some stuff over here. So maybe I could, I gotta keep adding height to this as much as I can if I can manage it. I might have to flip it over first. There we go. Uh, see, that's not so sturdy to do it that way. Um, hmm. Let's see, which one would have the best center of gravity? I guess a piece like this, right? So if we could, oh my goodness, put it right here. I could maybe do that. The game has no interest in doing that. Never mind. Does that not have anything on the bottom of it? That doesn't seem like it would make any sense. Uh, yeah, maybe if I just were to, because I'm trying to focus on the center of gravity with a lot of this. Oh no, wrong button. Yeah, rotate it around, and I just, there we go. That's all I wanted was to put it there. Yep, just like that. Rotate another one, put it there, and I guess I could just, yeah, do a bit of this, sort of. There we go. Um. But is that the best idea? Is there a better way to go about this? There really might be. Uh, but I think for right now, if I could just skip this up here, I'd be more than happy. Uh, and then once we have this all connected, we can see how it falls apart, right? I think that's a huge thing for us right now, is to do something like that. What if I were to put this here and then rotate it? Does it squeeze in? Not really. Uh, so right now we have a lot of pieces. Let's simulate. Oh, oh wait a minute. Wait a minute, that, that's it, okay. I'll take it. Not the most beautiful way to do it, but as you can see, wait some time, we're good. Correct simulation, very nice. So happy to see that then. Let's head up this and help you out a little bit. Hey, how are you doing? Excitable archeologist. This place is amazing. I've hardly been here five minutes and I've already seen so much. Oh yeah, you're the one who crashed from the airplane. Thanks for helping me out. I'm a local archeologist exploring the area, by the way. Before you showed up, I was actually starting to believe in the curse of the mountain spirit. <laughs> My sensors detect no other life forms nearby. Were you alone? No, there are two others, the pilot and a journalist. I wouldn't worry about the pilot. I think she can take care of herself. The journalist though, I'm pretty sure his panic jittering shook the plane out of the sky. I understand. We'll find them as fast as we can. Do you know where the plane went? 
The pilot was screaming something about landing on top of the mountain. You should check up there. Oh, and you should take this whip. Every good archeologist has one. Well, all of the indies at least. <laughs> Whips are a nightmare for corporate legal departments. Once we get a whip, now we can swing up the places higher up. That'll be great for adventuring. See this old hold over there? You should try to aim your whip on it. Thank you, I'm sure this will come in useful. I hope it does. And when you find the others, tell them to meet me at the base camp site. All right then, so we can look for the others near the mountaintop. I think that actually might be something we save for later. We'll explore more of the jungle and sort of complete it in the next episode. But this was our great adventure and our introduction to the Lego Brick Tales game. I'm actually having a lot of fun with this. It seems like a really unique game with a lot of fun puzzles to solve. It definitely has a learning curve though. It's gonna take us a little bit to warm up to it and figure out these different ways to build to solve these physics puzzles. But I'm definitely up to the task if you guys are, so let me know if you'd like to see more episodes. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Lego Brick Tales. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.